Welcome to an Unruly Guide step-by-step -step video. This video is part of our tutorials that offer step-by-step -step guidance through ebook formatting, book cover design, print on demand, and more. In this video, I'll be showing you how to add, delete, and rename your pages. While it's not necessary to rename your pages, I find it a lot easier to remember and link to pages that use names such as Chapter 1, Chapter 2, and so on. Let's start with Chapter 1. To rename the page, you simply right-click the name, and a menu will pop up with several options and features that you can apply, such as Merge, Delete, and Rename. Right-click and choose Rename. Now notice that the name, Section 0001, is the only part that's highlighted. You do not want to delete the .xhtml. So once that's highlighted, you can just simply type in Chapter 1. Now always keep all your names lowercase, no spaces, and keeping the names short so they're easy to remember. Following these simple rules will alleviate a lot of issues you may have later. Now I'm going to show you how to easily delete a page. This first page is blank. Now you can always rename it to copyright or title or whatever you'd like to do. But in this case, we'll just delete it for now. Simply right click and choose delete. A delete files pop-up window will display. You simply choose the pages you wish to delete and click delete marked files. Now let's rename chapter two. Right click and choose rename and rename the page. Now I'm going to show you how to add a page. Right click the text folder or any of the pages and you add a blank HTML file. Notice when you add it, the page is added to the bottom of the list. To rearrange pages, you simply drag and drop them by holding down your mouse button and moving it to the location where you want it to be. In this case, we're going to call this the cover page, so we need to rename it. Right click and choose rename. In the next video, I'll show you how you can set your semantics for your ebook. The semantics are what distinguish your pages, such as the cover, table of contents, and even the start page, which is what readers will see when they first open your book. 